Hello and welcome my creative friends to Painting in Your PJs Live with Minette. I'm Dr. Minette Riordan and Painting in Your PJs is all about using art as a creative process to connect to ourselves. So welcome if it's your first time to join me for Painting in Your PJs. I am so glad you're here. And if you've been around with me for a while, I'm also glad you're here. And we have two days this week left in our self-love extravaganza that we've been doing all month. And at the same time, I'm working behind the scenes on my 100-day project and, you know, thinking about life as a journey. So sometimes when we are on a journey and that journey can feel kind of challenging, not kind of challenging, but it can feel challenging. It can pull us out. Good morning, Bonnie and Yvonne. Welcome. And what's needed is a moment to pause and celebrate. So we don't always pause and celebrate and just allow ourselves to play. So when I thought about what I wanted to do this morning and I thought about our beautiful self-love prompts here, this one had kept popping out at me a few different times and it's use your favorite colors to create an abstract piece representing joy and so i want to create an abstract page in my journal representing joy but good morning mary but i want it to be simple and i want it to be playful and fun and I have early clients this morning, so probably not going to be here in a whole hour today. So I started to think about what would feel fun or what could I get started that I continue could continue later. And one of my favorite things is to kind of combine different things. Good morning, Carol, that I've learned over time into these fun abstract pages. So what I want to do is teach you and Bonnie, you saw um, we did this in our your creative renaissance call last week was a what I call a soul scribble. Good morning, Cindy. So what we're gonna do today is part soul scribble, a little bit inspired by Neurographica, maybe some Zentangle patterns. I um, love Neurographica. I'm not certified. I don't teach it, but you'll see when we uh, create the process today, it involves a little bit of some of the similarities. I'm not gonna go into what it is. If you're curious, you can Google it. There's some great YouTube videos out there. But I want to start with just some scribbles. And again, my theme for today is celebration. Life's journey can just really be that spiral of ups and downs, in and outs. And what I've noticed about working with women for so long, and this was really true when I had my business coaching practice, was that we would hit a milestone, achieve or accomplish something or create an emotional breakthrough and then just move on. We would just keep going. And so I would often, at the beginning of every call, invite the group to share a celebration. And so today I thought it would be fun to create a piece in our art journals that represents a celebration that feels, and for me, the energy of celebration is movement and color and play and delight. And sometimes it requires us to look for what's working, right? To look what, for what's working. So I want to start with a soul scribble. And a soul scribble is a way of just drawing quickly and then asking our image for an answer. So I'm going to start there and move on. A lot of words, but let's dive in and get started. I'm going to start with a water soluble pencil, but I've also got a Sharpie. Uh, and just a few other pens here as well. And I'm trying to decide, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just start with, with pencil and then probably go over it with the Sharpie. Or maybe I'm just gonna go, oh, here's my, nope, here's what I was looking for. I'm changing my mind. I wanted uh, a pen that was just a little more fine tip, but also permanent. And here's also my 
beloved food and Asoki with the brush tip. So for this project, I like to have a variety of different pens to play with and you'll see why. But I'm gonna start with this Identa pen, which is permanent. And then I'm gonna add color at the end if I have time with my Derwent ink tense pencils. And uh, if I don't have time, then I will do that later. I often do these fun scribbles just in black and white as well. So I'm gonna start with a simple soul scribble and I'm just gonna to count to five in my head. And so here I have this crazy energy of joy and celebration happening on the page. And I'm gonna sort of just turn that page around to see what I can see. So here I may be seeing some flowers blooming. It's an art to learn to see uh, things in soul scribbles. Well, here I'm seeing a face, right? This is the hair and the ponytail. So maybe hands out raised in celebration. So that feels kind of fun as well. Not seeing as much here, it almost feels like, you know, this, again, this lifting up of the moon or the sun. So I'm just having some fun looking to see what I see because in our search for what brings us joy, there's some kind of fun critter in here. I often see animals in mine. Um, and I'm wondering if I am maybe seeing a little bit of an abstract horse in here because horses bring me great joy. I grew up with a horse. A horse often uh, represented freedom and celebration for me. But I kind of like this sense of like something's blooming. But I keep going back to this way here of having some kind of a fun creature in here that's like feels like exuberant joy. And so I'm going to have some fun and just start to add some lines to this and some characters. And this is where we get to get really playful. I might do some writing in some of these sections. So like right now I'm thinking about um, what does joy feel like? So joy feels like movement expansion, like jumping up and down, so jumping or leaping for joy, it feels like bright colors. and big smiles. So you might consider what does joy mean to you? And when you start to sort of feel in to the energy of joy, what does it feel like for you? So I'm gonna to start to maybe just carve out some different areas. Uh, good morning, Barbara, welcome, welcome. And again, this felt maybe a little bit horsey in here, so maybe we're going to do something kind of crazy and funky. This is going to be a crazy, wild, abstract critter. And one of the things about Neurographica, and again, I am not teaching that practice. There are many people who can teach it, but one of my takeaways that I really loved about the process was this idea of rounding, which we also do in Zentangle. Now it feels like I have a crazy hippopotamus or something going on here. Was rounding the corners where things came together, like smoothing out those lines. And why that feels good to me this morning with the energy of celebration is there's no hard angles. Everything feels soft. It feels like flow. So when I think about joy, I think about it feels like flow. 
can also feel like staccato energy and movement. So again, just having fun with line and marks. And I literally have a journal or two full of this kind of drawing. It felt so soothing to me during the early days of the pandemic. And I would often sit on the sofa in the evenings and just do these abstract drawings over and over again <clears throat> in that time of just where nothing was known, things were changing faster than we could keep up with them. There was worry and isolation. It was not a joyful time. And so we had to find those moments and pockets of joy. I think I've never been more grateful for the time that we spent in Santa Barbara than during those years of the pandemic because we could be outside all the time. And we walked and walked and walked. All right, so you can see how it starts to change the energy of the image as I just start to add some shapes. And I'm going to let my critter take on just some funny little abstractions. All of a sudden he's more sort of maybe elephant-like than anything else. But again, it's that play and that sort of freedom of movement that I feel delightful. So I'd love to hear in the comments, what does joy feel like to you? If you think about how does it feel in your body? Does it have a color or a shape or a texture or a line? And do you ever think about celebration and pausing to acknowledge all the things that are going right in your life so often we have a tendency as human beings to only see or focus on what's not working rather than to be in some playful joyful celebration of wow even in the midst of nothing's going right that can be what it feel like feels like is to find that one small thing to celebrate And then we can just start to pink flying, dancing, spring, light bubbles, movement free. Oh, I love that. Beautiful. Like it feels just reading the words and saying them out loud. It's like I feel the my body wanting to fly, dance, right? Sing. Yeah, beautiful. Mm, bubbles. Bubbles feel really good. So how can you draw that in a playful, abstract way? So this is about leaning in to play and sort of childlike experimentation here. This doesn't need to look like anything realistic. It just needs to feel that exquisite energy of movement and curiosity. All right, now I'm going to have some fun. I'm going to come in with some different size pens and maybe add some lines or patterns or marks that feel like they represent freedom. And I loved the bubbles. So I'm going to use this funny brush tip pen because I can't be perfect with it. And I keep looking at these and just seeing lots of flowers blooming. Flowers bring me joy. In fact, I was upstairs in the kitchen this morning and Brad had brought me beautiful yellow roses for Valentine's Day and they're on their last legs and I've been holding on to them. But today it's time to 
Let them go. So again, this is a simple Good Morning Marian playful way to just create an abstract representation of joy. So if you were to create an abstract representation of joy on an art journal page in a way that felt playful and fun, what would yours look like? I would imagine it would not look anything like mine. And I love starting with these soul scribbles and just letting them evolve and emerge. I'm not trying to make this into anything specific, but I was looking again for what's that symbol of freedom. So at first I was seeing a horse. Now it feels kind of like a playful puppy. Right, and so that playful puppy maybe has his tongue hanging out of his mouth over here. And puppies are all about joy and play. There have been all these videos on Instagram because they always show me all this silly, of course, animal stuff because I love it. And uh, there have been these ones of puppy yoga, how anyone could do yoga with crazy little puppies and so there was this like room full of golden retriever puppies these fat roly-poly puppies and in one of the scenes one of them was just crashed out sound asleep on top of someone while she was in savasana or corpse pose rest pose and uh, it was just delightful it made me giggle and how often do we pause and take in those moments and say this brings me joy. I want more of this, please. Just so that we acknowledge and anchor in our body those times when things are going right, when we do feel, when everything feels good. Joy is a sudden burst of laughter from something your dog has done. I love that. Beautiful. Yes. Sometimes I look over and find that the, the cats are snuggling and being unusually sweet or silly. And again, it's that sudden burst of love in my heart. Sometimes it's the way my husband looks at me. My daughter sent over a new picture of herself with a cute new haircut and all dressed up professionally. Her roommate was taking headshots for some of the applications and things she's working on. And she just looks so grown up and lovely. And again, it's that moment of joy and I'm just celebrating her success and you know as parents we get to take a little bit of credit for our kids success but super proud of my kids that brings me joy lamb and Easter eggs rebirth yeah beautiful it does look like a lamb doesn't it we drove by a farm on the the way home the other day we went to a state park we hadn't been to on before. It was about a 45 minute drive away from here and uh, a huge, huge lake known for its bird watching. It's in the, the flyway, the migratory flyway of birds. So you get like, extraordinary species that you normally wouldn't see in other places in Colorado. And we walked six miles. I was really proud of us. We hadn't done that long of a walk in a long time. And saw all kinds of, like at least three different kinds of hawks. And a variety of ducks. And tons of geese, including some snow geese, which are always fun to see. And about a dozen bald eagles, which nest at this lake. And no matter how many times I see bald eagles, 
it still feels like a treasure. You know, when we were kids, we never saw them. They were almost extinct. And now we see them, not quite every day, but we see them so frequently here. And there's so much joy in that freedom of watching these majestic birds circling and flying. We watched one just sitting on top of a tree, completely backlit by the gorgeous snowy covered mountains. The views were exquisite. It was a day of joy, a day to pause and celebrate. Uh, the first day we hadn't spent working in a really long time. And so when I think about joy and celebration and I lean, lean into, let's see, what else we got? Soaring through the sunshine and dancing on the moon after gliding through deep purple space. <gasps> what a beautiful poem. I hope you write that on your art today. That's gorgeous, Mary. Your dog reminds you multiple times a day. Playful energy is contagious. Yes, dogs are just good for that, right? Uh, yeah, beautiful beautiful. I also think about joy. It feels like growth and expansion, right? feels like growth and expansion. This feels like it wants to be a little bit more writing. And this is one of the just a fun, playful way that I also really like to incorporate journal writing right into the same page by just breaking my page up with a sole scribble into these abstract shapes and then adding some marks, some color, some writing can bring me right back to the moment of what I was thinking and feeling in that moment. And I'm going to come in here and add some bales, which is one of my favorite Zentangle patterns. It's a classic. I don't always love grid patterns, but this one ends up looking a bit more organic, so I like it. And again, part of what I'm seeking in this abstract art journal expression of joy is just to be in the energy of celebration and joy, to give myself just time to pause, to center. To think about everything that is going right. And my list of what's going right is so long right now, feeling deep gratitude the more I think about that. And yes, there's a lot to do. There's a lot of things that could, could be better or different. A lot of things that need my attention. And yet by just giving myself permission to just be here now, in what I consider to be a combination of deep play and deep reflection. My whole body relaxes, my mind settles, my breathing begins to even Like I talked about yesterday on Make Money, Make Monday Morning Sacred, this is that uh, chance to just be <clears throat> very much in the present moment <clears throat> without judgment, but also without direction, right? So abstract, playful. <clears throat> The last two days we've had uh, <clears throat> like 40 to 50 mile an hour winds and I think the it's really kicked up the dust so I feel a little froggy this morning and we'll just give her some eyelashes there. And never underestimate the just joy of adding marks to the page. 
So when I let go of my need to have this look like anything, <clears throat> it takes on a life and a personality of its own. And I can just enjoy and play. Yes, Judy, a little bit of that combined with what I call a soul scribble, just doing a quick five minute scribble and looking for answers this morning. We are celebrating whatever we need to celebrate, thinking about what does joy feel like or look like? For me, joy is just so deeply connected to being out in nature. We've had a pretty wild, mild winter overall this year. And I've been able to just be outside a lot more than last year. So I want to celebrate and lean into the joy. Today it's cold and raining. And I'm grateful for the rain. It's much needed. My trees get so thirsty. It's so dry here. And when we haven't had a lot of snow, it increases the fire danger. Because of the high winds, there's high fire danger right now. Warnings everywhere. So I'm grateful for that moisture. Which will eventually, in May if I'm lucky, bring us some spring energy. So getting some of that growth in there. The nubs of the trees are already starting to put on new little shoots. You can see that it's coming and it's preparing. So finding the joy even in a cold, gray, rainy day. No walks outside for me today. And again, I love varying the size of the pen marks. Just the black and white and the pen can add a lot of interest and variety. So this is a great way to connect to play and joy, but also to play with mark making, Zentangle, all Neurographica, all different versions of mindful drawing used to help us connect to calm, connect to our breath, connect to the present moment. And perhaps you're not feeling joyful right now. Maybe you got a lot going on or something happened. I still want to invite you to remember what joy feels like and to look for one thing that you can celebrate. I've been seeing people posting pictures of little crocus and hyacinth pushing through and I'm envious because we're still so far away from that. But that is something that's very joyful. Maybe it's putting on a color today that will remind you to stay in the energy of joy. Remembering that my handwriting is a mark, right? Varying and changing up handwriting. Then this becomes my favorite combination of writing and mark making.
Make your writing messy, then no one can read it. Good morning, April. So when I pause to look at all the things that are going right, it might be one, or it might be that list outweighs another list of things that feel like, ah, that's not working. So now I have this very happy, silly, critter that makes me smile every time I look at it and when I go back to my journal page I'll be able to know exactly what this page was about in the moment and don't be afraid to mix writing into your journal pages. So I'm doing this all with ink. You could have done this with abstract watercolor. Actually, maybe we'll do an abstract watercolor on Thursday. That sounds fun too. And uh, add the, the marks over the, the top of it. But again, I'm feeling that expansion, the joy, the sense of play. Not trying to get lines straight. The wonkier, the better. Put some Knightsbridge in here, but it's a variation on Knightsbridge where we only cover color in half of the checkerboard. And not every space needs to have something inside of it either. When I think about joy, I think about spaciousness and maybe some blank spaces will help to recognize some of that spaciousness. And it feels like maybe some clouds in here. Clouds often offer shade and respite from our hot Colorado sunshine. But I love weather. I want all the weather. Living in Santa Barbara was for the most part, pretty boring, beautiful, but I missed my thunderstorms and crazy sunsets and sunrises. So this is that uh, abstract watercolor should that oh yeah for sure Marion let's do it so bring your watercolor on Thursday so remember I'm not live on Wednesdays but on Thursday bring a piece of watercolor paper and your favorite watercolors and let's do some abstract watercolor play What I love about 
art journaling is I think it gives us so much permission to just play and experiment on the page. For me, this isn't about creating a, a particular look or aesthetic or, you know, something that I even need others to see, but it's about, for me, the place where I'm free to express, experiment, and play on the page, and playing on the page is what makes us better artists. And there I have my crazy little soul scribble of joy. And the last thing is going to be to come in. I'm going to come in with my Derwents and just to get some color down on the page. I love when I, I pull a, a supply out and then it's out and it reminds me to use it. So sometimes it's fun to have a different supply out that you like but that you don't play. And remember we've talked about before is you have to use your supplies in order to really learn, experiment, understand what it is that they do. Again, keeping this loose and messy. Thinking of colors that bring me joy. Color like a two-year-old. It's amazing how freeing it is to just to scribble with color. I love that pop of pink. Pink is definitely a color for me that feels joyful, expansive. And I love Derwent's because I can color on them with the page, but you can also just take the a wet brush straight to the tip of the Derwent. And get the pigment straight off of the pencil as well. Just another way to approach it and you get a nice vibrant color there. And if you're wanting something that's a little smoother to ensure that it's not going to have those streaky pencil marks, this is a great way to use your Derwent's. Definitely got to have some blue on here. Definitely feeling that childlike desire to just scribble this morning. I don't have to stay inside the lines, although I am, I guess. Um, and sometimes it's so worth it. Grab a box of crayons or some other oil pastels and just Spend five minutes scribbling color on paper and I guarantee you'll feel more joyful and childlike. Can't not.
and this is making me giggle so it's done its job because it's so completely silly very nonsensical it emerged spontaneously like joy often does Love that bright green. What I've noticed about me and winter is that I get to where I just long for green and wet. And uh, I'm going to get to spend some time in Oregon this summer. Maggie's graduating from university and I have a retreat with some art besties. And I can't wait to be in that wet, moist, green. Hopefully there won't be any fires. They have been certainly plagued by fires the last couple of years. All right, clouds aren't really yellow, but it feels like that pop of yellow is that last pop we need to really make it pop out Again, the, the sheer silliness of this feels joyful and delightful. And I would leave you today with the inquiry of what aspect of your own art making is joyful for you? When do you give yourself permission to not be in learning mode, to not be in, I got to make something pretty for Instagram, but to be in the sheer playfulness of the experience. It might be watercolor, it might be markers, it might be crayons, it might be acrylic paint on a large canvas, but find that thing that you can return to when you need to spark some joy in your day and in your practice. Doodling, adding, adding color, yes. Yep, last night I colored one of my sacred circle designs. And it was just what I needed. I had been very much in my head doing lots of creative writing and working on my quiz and my book uh, all day yesterday and Facebook ads and all kinds of, lots of creative expression, but it wasn't color. And what I needed was to just sit and color. And then with these, I always like to sign and date them. So I remember when. So there is my silly little soul scribble, happy doodle representing joy and celebration and so I get to take this with me into the rest of the day to be in this delightful energy of play and expression and ridiculous character. Have a beautiful rest of your day everybody. Great to see you. I'll be back Thursday morning live for some abstract watercolor play and uh, I'll come up with a theme and some ideas before then but until then May the sunshine or the rain pour and may you have lots of spaciousness. Thank you, everybody. Bye bye.